but we had circled around each other probably for a number of years. And so we played together uh, for a little uh, warm up so everyone could get up and move around. And then afterwards, uh, one of the uh, speakers, Hospice, had, had contacted us and said, we want you two to come out and do a uh, program together for our staff. And they just assumed that we always work together. <laughs> so, so we said, OK, great. And they're like, well, you do this all the time. I mean, we work together. Right? We said, well, we do now. Yeah. <laughs> and then literally for <coughs> months afterwards, we always just ended up at the same place. We would be at the same stoplight. If it was warm weather, our, our windows would be down and we would pull up next to one another. I was like, hey, hey we got to talk. We got to get together. And then we had a couple other uh, friends at the time, Tommy and um, Sophia and Levin, who were also um, just peripheral people who we always bumped into and said, we, we want to do something. Some, one of these days, we got to do something. So we finally decided that something would be this um, uh, arts musical dance here collaborative. And, um, it's sustained itself really through uh, our experience and ability to maintain a lot of transitional characters in the ensemble. But we do have um, Heather and Camel Mitchell, uh, two of our staple and wonderful collaborators in the movement and dance capacity. And collectively, we each kind of uh, expand and grow in different ways. and. Um, Emma's initiative right now is called Rooted, and she's doing Friday nights uh, family German dance uh, at the Rupert Schools, and also hoping to start like a youth um, African German dance ensemble community wide. And as um, Kelly spoken to, um, we really, I think upstairs, we have a number of uh, ways in which we try to shape shift and work within um, different um, communities and different uh, aspects of culture and support people's initiatives with which we feel personally and spiritually and collectively culturally aligned. So we do a lot of, uh, you may see us in different functions where people call and are interested in music to support um, and tie into and expand the artistic dimensions of, of what they're creating with you know, uh, broad framework. So, we also do uh, collaborations with theater. I just did enjoy most rugs. I was just doing uh, Arabian Nights with the Western Michigan Theater Department, and, and Calvin did the uh, production of Oedipus. He was the music director for that as well. And we both collaborated with Key College and Oedipus, um, the uh, death of uh, uh, years ago. So in whatever capacities we can uh, interact and grow and expand and co-vision and co-create is really what keeps it uh, vibrant and great for us. And I run monthly uh, drumming circles once a month at Fire and other spaces and help support uh, the drumming events in town. And we just someone was just asking us um, this a uh, new initiative we've been talking about with a herbologist medicine friend of ours, which is also part of Calvin's background. And this summer we're hoping to have a series of workshops on uh, vibrational plant medicine and rhythm movement song and expression and bringing some African arts into that as well as Native American traditions. And um, at our museum show last month, we enjoyed some new collaborations with some of the Pokegan band and tribe and some of their traditions as well. So it's a real uh, honor and joy to interact with some of the traditional cultures here. We do have so many kind of displaced immigrants um, actually, the Haitian drummer is in the area, not here, but nearby, and, and it, it's these individuals who become such vibrant resources, but by themselves, they have a very difficult time integrating and be finding a way in which to share and bring those cultural gifts to our communities. So that's a real uh, kind of a vibrant research endeavor for us, is just connecting with other people who share this, this love and passion, and then to be able to, to come together and create something much greater than you know, what we can do as individuals. which his, in his experience meant sort of world 
That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, the world is the language. Yeah. yeah, all of the world, everyone in it, and, and that's that's our keeping with our interest in, in terms of the repertoire. One of the missions of the library is to pull people together just like we have and show showcase. I, that's sort of one word, but it, it, to show what we have in the evening to make it available for people in the community. And I've been here 31 years, and it's never been a problem to do that, because we have such a rich community, and it keeps coming and coming. What a wonderful panel this has been. Thank you all for coming. Very proud of it, so I'm going to break it.